I have a few prized possessions in my house. Now, they're not necessarily what you would expect. It's not an expensive suit or a piece of jewelry or anything of that nature. It is an olive wood statue. It is one of my most prized possessions. And it was given to me by a man that some of you will know, uh, the Reverend Olin Shockley, as he traveled with our bishop to Israel and a, and, a, and a larger group. And he brought this back for me when I was serving as his associate at Trinity United Methodist Church in Salisbury. And so I've had it for many years. It is Jesus as the Good Shepherd. And the sheep is wrapped around the neck of Jesus and the shepherd Jesus is walking that sheep back to the, the flock. You can't see the flock because the figure is just Jesus and the sheep, but what you can see is that Jesus risked everything, risked the 99, as the text tells us, to go find the one. In the New Testament, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd because the sheep know my voice and they know my name and I know them by name. Next week, this coming week, I'll be preaching on Psalm 23. And very frequently I'll share that psalm at a funeral and I'll say to the people there, you know, it, you don't have to know every word perfectly, you just have to have the intent of your heart to be right with God. And that psalm, the shepherd psalm begins, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The intent there is this, the Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. That when we have God as our shepherd, our good shepherd, that shepherd who knows us by name and whom we know as intimately as, and as well also, that we lack nothing. In Jesus, in our faith, we have all that we will ever need. We have a lot of things we might want, but in Jesus, we have all that we will ever need. And as we have just come out of this Holy Week season, and as Easter season continues, even though Easter Sunday is in the past, Easter is not one day, it's every day. We're reminded by this text and by this story and this image that we lack nothing, for in Christ we have all that we will ever need. Amen.